Hello chaps, Troy Francis, night edition in New York City. This is going to look very noirish uh, if it comes out in any kind of usable quality at all. But I wanted to just jump on and talk about something that, a practical thing, a practical thing today, which is when you go and meet somebody that you are attracted to, how long do you kind of keep trying for before you take the L and move on to the next one? Okay. and. Um, this is something actually that a few guys that I've been working with have asked me recently because they'll say, well, I went up and talked to this, this woman and, you know, this could be in a daytime context, it could be at the bar, it could be at the club, whatever, you know, wherever it is. You know, I went up and talked to this, uh, this girl that I was interested in and, you know, she was being kind of standoffish and so I left the interaction and sometimes guys will say, oh, you know, and I kind of think, um, you know, should I have stayed in more? Should I have tried a few different things? Should I have like pushed a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit further? Just tried to, to take the conversation in a different, um, a different direction or whatever. Okay. Now, as with all of these things, the truth is that there's not a cut and dried answer. I, I, as I always say, with with all of this stuff, because we're dealing with human psychology and human interactions between very, very different, unique human beings, there's always going to be. Uh, a lot of variation in terms of what the best thing to do is, okay? Um, because, and, and it very much really depends on the vibe that you are getting, okay? And you have to develop social intelligence. You have to develop a sixth sense for, okay, is this person, you know, is there a glimmer of interest here with this person or are they basically just waiting for me to go away? And of, of course, if it's the latter, then you should just immediately say, well, look, anyway, it was great meeting you, see you later, and walk off, okay? Um, but how do you know when to do that? Well, as I say, really, I think it comes down to, to some extent, to experience, all right? Um, you've got to, but I mean, at the same time, it's not rocket science. You know, you've got to look at her, you've got to look at her body language, what, what's she doing, you know? If you go in and you walk up to a woman and, you know, you say, hey, listen, you look nice. I want you to come and say hello. And she's kind of like turning her body away and going, oh, <laughs> yeah, great, okay. In that situation, right, she, she's being, she might be being polite. She might, you know, kind of accept the compliment, but she's, you know, she, there's, clearly there's, there's, no, there's no interest there. There's not, there's not sufficient interest there really to build anything upon. So increasingly, I mean, and for, actually for a long time, uh, my view on this has been just take the L and, and, and just move on, you know, because, there are so many people out there. There are so many billions of, uh, of people in the world, so many billions of available women in the world that you could date that you don't want to be uh, spending too much time trying to convince somebody to have a conversation with you when they clearly don't want to. And furthermore, you know, look, I mean, it's a little bit, Grand Street, it's a little bit invasive, right? I mean. I, in my view, and, and look, I mean, you know, shoot me down for this if you want. In my view, I, I think it's fair to go up and politely say to somebody, hey, listen, I thought you looked cool. I wanted to, to say hello. I think that is, I think that's fair. I don't think that's a terrible thing to do if you do it in a socially calibrated manner. Um, but if they then show, you know, really no enthusiasm for continuing that conversation, I think that it is the right thing to do is to say, okay, anyway, listen, have a great evening. I'll see you later, okay? I think that's the right thing to do. I also think it's the socially calibrated thing to do. And I think it's the most efficient thing to do. Because again, you know, you don't want to be then sort of like, so, oh, so uh, do you work near here? Or, you know, try to carry it on when she's clearly trying to, you know, walk in the other direction, okay? So I, there is this, this sort of the gut feel is very important with all of these things. You know, what, what, what's your gut telling you? Does, is this woman... Now, then sometimes there'll be situations where you know, you start that conversation and maybe she's feeling a little bit shy or, you know, you need to give some more, to give something more to get her to engage. But you just get a sense of like, okay, you know, she's kind of smiling. She's, she's her, you know, her feet are pointing towards me. She is open, let's say, at least open to, to having this dialogue. And in that instance, then yes, of course, it's beholden on to you to, to sort of push things forward a little bit and just be like, okay, oh, so, you know, you, you're based around here. So tell me a bit about, you know, what's the best thing about living in New York City? Tell me, you know, what's the coolest thing about that you found about living here? Whatever it is, you know, push forward a little bit. Um, and um, yeah, but that's only appropriate in those situations where you can feel that there's a, a bit of a vibe there, okay? 
and again, you know, it, without, as I say, the, because it's so mutable, you know, there are so many different, every single interaction you go into is necessarily going to be slightly different just because you're dealing with a different human being with different life experience and different agenda and different, you know, expectations and, and so on, availability and so on and so forth. And, you know, you, you remain the same, but the women that you deal with are all, are all very different or, or, or at least they're all subtly different. Okay. So use your, use your, use your, your noddle as uh, I think they used to say in the UK, you know, you've got to use your head a little bit and your, your heart and, and, really just sort of feel, okay, so what is, you know, what, what's actually going on here? What's the vibe here? Is there any value in this? And I would say, you know, if she's, you've gone in, you've given it your shot, if she's not really feeling it, then it, it's, the, as I say, the right thing to do for you to disengage, both for yourself and for her as well, because she doesn't want to be bothered by some random, you know, talking to some random dude that she's got no interest in talking to. So I think it's very important to just be, be careful about that and be very mindful about that. Um, don't try to elongate conversations that are clearly going nowhere with people that are not really interested in talking to you, okay? I think it's pretty straightforward, but it probably needs to be restated. At the same time, you know, if you are getting that sort of sense of some interest, not necessarily even romantic interest, but some interest in continuing the conversation, then as the guy, it is on you to lead that conversation and to move it forward and to give value in the conversation as well. That is to say, you know, be a bit entertaining. Tell us some cool stories. Tell us something about your experiences. Your experiences in the city, you know, the kind of stuff that you're doing, where you've traveled to, blah, 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 you know, show her a bit of your life, tell, you know, give her something to work with. Don't just machine gun her with a bunch of questions about, you know, where she works and how she gets to work and what her 401k is looking like and all that kind of stuff. You know, you've got to, you've got to give a little bit before, and what you're really doing is you are looking to hit on a topic. You're looking to hit on that gold rush topic that you guys can both vibe on, okay? It might be the city, it might be music, it might be, uh, you know, I, I had a client who was into bachata and he was talking to a girl about bachata. It might be that. It could be travel. I mean, anything, right? But you want to hit on that topic that you guys can vibe on. You want to get into a normal conversation. Yes, with flirty undertones, but a normal conversation where it's, it's less of a, oh my God, this guy's hitting on me. And it's more just a, a, a very comfortable and conventional sort of exchange of communication between the two of you. And then, you know, it should, by the end, it should be a no-brainer that you guys should meet up again. So ideally what you want to be doing in these conversations is creating a vibe so that asking for a number or asking for her Instagram and saying, oh, we should meet again, it, it's, almost, um, it's almost a no-brainer. It should be a no-brainer, right? It shouldn't be this thing that you spring in at the end and it's like, oh, can I get your number? You know, it should be like, yeah, of course, obviously, you know, we've got this cool vibe between us. Of course we would want to meet again. Why, why the hell wouldn't we? You know, this has been very fortuitous. We've met, you're cool, I'm cool. You know, of course we want to continue this another time. That's the vibe that you should be, you should be aiming for with all these conversations. So as I say, don't try to push forward with conversations that are going nowhere. Read the signs, become calibrated. And look, if you are somewhat socially uncalibrated, I would say, veer on the side of safety so if you think okay I'm, I'm just not sure about this one you're probably in the early stages better off just sort of cutting it off because you don't want to be that guy who is you know a bit of a pest or who's pushing too hard okay so go in take your shot look for interest if the interest is forthcoming push forward if the interest is not really forthcoming then you know there it is life goes on Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Um, it's getting a little bit dark here and I think it's actually gonna start raining. So um, I'm heading back to the hotel, but if you would like to talk to me about your own you know, dating situation, all that good stuff, we can do a free call, free 50 minute call. Uh, just drop me an email, troy at realtroyfrancis.com or you can hit the Calendly link, which will be below. Please do subscribe to this channel because God knows, um, I am shadow banned in all possible ways. So you want to hit that notifications bell as well so that you can see the new videos as they come up. And what else? Uh, yeah, grab my collection of 11 books about dating. It's called Renegade Dating Blueprint. The link is below. I'll see you guys again very soon. From New York City, signing out. Sayonara.